Drivers of Matthew Driveway Customs. Today we're going to be talking about best things to bring when you're going out for wheel driving. So for me, this would be any time I go out in the bush, whether it's for a weekend or for a remote trip, I bring these things. And then there's also things we're going to talk about that you don't have to bring but are handy in case you get yourself into a sticky situation. So for me, I think tools are the most important thing to bring out there. They're on par with recovery gear, but I think tools just sort of edge it out. Um, whether you have a full socket set that you keep in your car with spanners and Allen keys, or if you just have a few sockets that you think fit your car and a few spanners that fit, it doesn't matter, having something's better than nothing. This is my bottom drawer. Um, this one I tend to fill up with things like tools and jumper leads and just assortments of things that can get you out of a bit of a bother when you're out in the bush. So. I'll show you one by one what I've got. So this is the socket set that I usually take out in the bush. Um, it wasn't too expensive, just from Repco. Uh, it's got a good variety of um, sockets in here, different sizes and different size drives. It's got quarter, three eighth and half inch drive and um, it's got metric and imperial. So. It's a pretty decent kit. Um, I don't think it cost me much money. Everything I got was on sale at the time, but I think all up you can get this stuff now for $400, everything in the kit that I have. Um, and that's not just this, that's whatever else I show today. Um, yeah, so this kit was pretty good. It's got um, a large breaker bar and three different size ratchets and a deep socket set and yeah extension bars which is um definitely definitely handy my favorite thing is on this extension bar it has a hole there for you to stick something like this through maybe it's a screwdriver but it allows you to have a better purchase on things to um keep it straight and twist it so yeah that's basically what I recommend getting something around that size that has a complete variety of um, different sockets and different drive sizes. So if you can get that, um, I'll leave links to the Repco website for everything I got. So yeah, on to the next thing. This is the spanner set that I usually take. Um, I find that I'd rather take a metric set out for the car that I have because everything on this car is usually in metric sizes, but that's not to say you won't run into someone out there that has a lot of Imperial bolts on their car. Um, this one's not just a regular ring spanner, it's a ratchet ring spanner. So that side's a ratchet and you just flip it to go into forward and reverse. Um, once again, none of this stuff was super expensive and I did buy it on sale. So I got a pretty good deal on all of this. Um, I think this is a must have along with the sockets. Um, it allows you to take off basically everything you need um, paired with the socket set. Yeah, so those two, first up, are probably the most useful two um, sets of tools you should keep in your car at all times. This is just a cheap 13 piece screwdriver set, also from Repco. Um, I find it's just handy to have. It doesn't have to be something flash for a screwdriver set. If you break it, uh, it didn't put you out of pocket too much, so you can always replace them. And um, yeah, most of flatheads in here will end up as pry bars, and um, most of Phillips heads will um, probably stay clean. These two will be the only ones you really use. But I think it's very handy to have in any scenario because a lot of things on cars are screws such as your flares and your inner guards so if you uh run in uh, 37s and you rip your inner guards out it's easy to take them out and you know chuck them in the back anyone who regularly works on cars will tell you these two things are usually lifesavers um there's not much on a car that can't be fixed without a good hammer and a good flathead pry bar so um i think they're definitely must-haves if there's a seized bolt or a seized nut, it's always easy to belt that screwdriver in and give it a pry and it hopefully will come out. And if not, just swear at it a bit more. Also really handy to have in your toolkit for your car is some Allen keys. Um, a lot of uh, bolts double as Allen bolts as well. So um, 
they're very handy to have, especially for your hubs in your front. If they're um, manual locking hubs, they make it very easy to take out. And even if they're auto locking hubs, most of the nuts will be Allen bolts. So yeah, definitely I recommend having an Allen key set in your car. So those are the main tools I like to keep in my four wheel drive when I'm going out. Um, I think they're the most useful. Let me know if you agree in the comments or if you think there's something I've missed um, that you always take, whether it's something superstitious or something that you just think you may need at all times. So let me know and um, yeah, let's move on to the next bit. Next up on my list of things you should bring when you're forward driving is recovery gear. I think it's a necessity nowadays um, to at least have a snatch strap and some, uh, some D shackles or some hooks or something like that, even chains. Um, Anything's better than nothing, so I'll run through what I usually keep and what's the bare necessities to bring. Having a tree trunk protector like this is great for when you're going out in the bush. It's really, really good for if you've got a winch or if you're going to use it to connect to two different points and um, even the load out when you're pulling a car out. It's um, a really good thing to bring, I reckon. Not only is that tree trunk, tree trunk protector good for protecting the trees, it's really good for protecting your winch rope. If you're wrapping your winch rope around a tree, it can fray it, um, depending on how hard it binds up against it and what kind of tree it is, obviously. But yeah, it's really good to extend the longevity of your winch rope as long as you just have one of those things. This one's pretty brand new. My old one broke, but having one of these snatch straps is really good. Um, keep in mind, you will have to have two good points for you to tow a car out of. Um, and some D shackles. Another good thing I keep in the back of my wagon is some Max Tracks. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what brand you get, but something that's a recovery board is really good. Um, if you go on the beach a lot, it's really good. And even in mud, it can help a lot. Uh, I recommend mounting them on your roof, they're easy access. And um, if you do do that, there'll be a video coming out for that shortly. So stay tuned. But there's something else great you can add to your recovery kit. Um, obviously, if you've got a winch and if you've got a mate out there with you, you don't necessarily need them, but it does help on sand if you're not putting too much stress in a vehicle trying to pull you out. My last two recovery items are a shovel, which I know digging's not everyone's favorite thing, but sometimes you've got no choice. If you're stuck, you're stuck. And a mate with a car, that's number one. If you go out in twos, um, if you're not that confident, then it just saves you a lot of the times. I pull people out and I've been pulled out countless times. It's just the number one thing for me to have is going out with someone else. If you're not confident, it's great for reassurance. If they're a bit more confident, they can guide you up things. But nothing's better than getting pulled out and not worrying about how you're going to get yourself out if you don't have a winch. Now, the very last thing I think you should bring when you're going out bush, um, not really a necessity, but... I'll show you the most important ones first and then you should definitely look into things that break the most on your car and things that are commonly broken when you're out four wheel driving and common issues of your car that you can easily fix out there. So number one for me is bringing an air filter. If you're going to go through any deep bog holes or if you think you might get any water in your air box at all if you flood your car, having a spare air filter is great. If you're out in the dust, it can fill up with dust. Banging your air filter out is good for a few thousand k's but Depends how much driving you do out west. Um, you know, having a spare air filter, I just think is really good. It's it's integral to the performance of your car and your engine safety and health. Like you don't want to be flooding your engine with water or with any dirt and dust that you think might get in there. So that's number one for me. Bringing a spare air filter, I think is good for every vehicle you've got. Now, number two, depending on what you're going to be doing, I think could be a spare fan and fan belts. Um, and regular belts for your car, accessory belts, I think, I guess I should say. Um, if you're going to go through deep crossings, everyone's seen the videos, you know, fans, fan blades break while they're spinning too fast and they hit the water. Well, you know, you can snap belts at any time. It's not something that everyone's immune to. It just happens to the best of us. So having spare belts for your car, it's an easy fix usually, and um, it'll keep you driving out there on your own steam. Having a match and spare tyre is good, but if you've got a puncture in your match and spare, um, Sometimes you can be up shit creek, so I think having some puncture repair kits is really good to have. Um, 
you know, tire shops won't repair sidewalls, but if you're out in the bush, you can always put a plug in there and try and drive out there and get two new tires. Or if you're down low on tires, you can get a full set. It doesn't matter. But I think it's really good, you know. The worst thing you could have is rolling a couple a tire off the bead and then puncturing another tire and being stuck out there just with no tires. Not a fun time, so I reckon that's something really important to have. Something I find really important when I'm going out in the bush, and this might be personal preference, but you know, bringing spare axles and hubs can be really good. It depends how much power your car's putting out and what type of driving you're likely to do, but I think for GQs, front and left uh, free wheel and hubs are really good to have. It depends if how remote you're going, how far away from your house you're going, whether you can get towed out. It all depends on your certain scenario, but for me, hubs are really big. And for GQs, panhards in the rear, you can bend those things pretty easily. So uh, I reckon bringing a spare one of them if you've got a GQ patrol. That's kind of it for my list of spares. I'm sure I've missed other things, but if you find something out, or if you think of something that I should bring, let me know. Now for the two final things that I recommend bringing anytime you're going out bush, It'd be ratchet straps, a fair few of them. There's a lot of things you can fix with ratchet straps, even if it's just to get you out to a main road where a tow truck can pick you up. I recommend them. I think they're greatly underestimated. Um, You see a lot of times people holding wheels and stuff on with just ratchet straps. So I think having a few of them is really good. They're not too expensive. You can get them for Bunnings pretty cheap. Don't have to have super good quality stuff, just something good enough to handle it. And a first aid kit. Uh, people get bitten by snakes, people get big holes in themselves, it doesn't matter, I think they're good to have. Uh, basic first aid kits, cheap as chips, and if you're bringing out your missus or if you're bringing out uh, some friends or young friends and um, their kids, you know, you'd hate to have something bad happen to them and you not be able to help them at all. Alright guys, thanks for watching, let me know what you've thought, if you think there's something I've missed, you know, leave it down in the comments below, make sure to tell me. Um, I know this is something different, but I think it's really important for certain people to know. Uh, just keep in mind, this is what I bring. If you're going really remote, you can bring as much as you want. Or if you're just going out on the weekend, you can bring as little as you want. It's all up to you, um, up to your own discretion. These are just things that I like to bring, and I find they've kept me out of trouble. So, Thanks for watching. going to be trying to keep uploads up as consistent as I can. Um, you know, weekly, fortnightly. It's a bit hard right now, we can't go out for driving and we can't meet up in big groups to work on cars or talk about cars, but hopefully that'll be easing up soon and uh, we'll start to have some really good content coming out soon. Mounting some max tracks, uh, putting some new shocks in my mate's car, you know, just trying to keep things as interesting as we can. You know, doing another rig rundown on an 80 series. Um, yeah, just trying to keep it as fresh and as exciting as we can. So thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to like, there'll be somewhere to subscribe there and another video. Check me out, see what you think. If you like it, give it a like and a comment and a share. All right, thanks guys.